a classic pub favorite, the deep fried pickle. Today I'm gonna to show you how to maintain the crunchy interior while having a crispy exterior. We're gonna start with a classic breading mix. To start, we have flour to dredge your pickles in. We then have a mixture of three quarters of a cup of flour, three quarters of a cup of milk, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and one egg. This is gonna create a coating that's gonna protect the crunch of the pickle. And we're gonna finish it in breadcrumbs. To start, you want a little bit of moisture on the outside of your pickle. This is gonna help the flour adhere to it, which is gonna help the batter adhere to the flour. And this is what's gonna keep our pickle nicely coated. I wanna tap off the excess flour and into the batter it goes. Using a fork, it's a little bit easier and keeps your hands a little bit cleaner. After I've got a nice coating all around my pickle, I go right into my breadcrumb mixture, which has about a handful of parsley in it. You can use panko breadcrumbs or you can use regular breadcrumbs. Try them both. I've got my breaded pickles here. Half of them I've got in panko and the other half I've got in a regular breadcrumb. They're gonna go into my deep fryer that's set at 350 degrees. I want to fry them for about two to three minutes until I get a nice golden color on them. You don't want to over fry them because you're going to lose that crunch in that pickle. I'm then going to take them out, drain them on paper towel, and they're ready to eat. I've got my fried pickles paired with a spicy aioli, but they would go well with any sauce of your choice. When done correctly, your fried pickle will be crunchy and crispy.